Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. I'm so excited. I've been shopping and I've got a really big haul. I've got some swatches for you, some stamping plates, and a huge haul um, of a purchase that I made from She Modern. So let's take a look at what I got. Let's get started. Okay, so I've been shopping and this is from She Modern. So I received, whoops, there goes the camera, awesome, so let me see what's in here, okay, um, they had like a terrific sale and I bought everything that I really wanted, <laughs> so everything was 50% off, if you're part of the Facebook groups that I have listed in my videos, um, I did post that on there, so they would kind of be incentive to join some of those groups because we do post sales and discounts because it's more timely than actually doing a video. Um, so I got a bunch of these in black um, because I like coloring them in, actually. So I've got ghosts and flowers, lips hibiscus flowers, more hearts because I almost used all of mine. Um, and then I got these beautiful bows in hollow silver. No, just hollow. These are hollow. Um, I just, I really love these foil arts. They're really fun to use. And then I got these because I think these would make excellent poinsettias at Christmas. And then I got some of these flowers because I really liked these. These make a good tropical mani, which I just did. And these flowers, I thought, so cute. I think they remind me of, like, cherry blossom flowers. So I love those. Then I got these. These are silver ornaments for Christmas. I got pink shapes. And um, then Tina gave me these to review. It's her new shapes uh, stencils. And then I purchased some more glitter. I purchased Hollow Orange. What did I get in here? Let's see. Hollow Orange, which is really beautiful. Because I thought probably she's going to end up with pumpkins. <laughs> so might as well be proactive. I got Hollow Orange. What's this one? This one is Pink Fuchsia. And then I got Purple Hollow, because I love Hollow, obviously. And then she, I, I got some more stars. And then she gave me these two, and these are new glitter ones. So there's red glitter and Hollow glitter. She said that they weren't available yet, and she wasn't sure when they're going to become available. Um, but I'm really excited to have these. They're gorgeous. So, okay, this is my She Modern stuff. Let's put that to the side. And then I went and got some plates from What's Up Nails. What's Up Nails was having a buy one, get one 50% off sale on their plates. Okay, now <clears throat> I purchased two kinds of plates. I purchased expensive plates and non-expensive plates. And I was wondering how that was going to go because I got four of them. So I got one. I paid one at full price and one at 50% off. Wow, they are awesome. So on the expensive plates, I paid for one and I got one at 50% off. So I went ahead and got um, Uber Chic plates. Now, um, usually I order from Uber Chic, but these turn out to be like a really good deal. So um, I just ordered them from here because she was only having a 15% off sale. And this was a 15% off on each plate, which, you know, still doesn't add up to the discount that I just got. So now this one is collection 23. And I got this one because it's got a lot of, um, I really like the double um, stamping images. So you can stamp the one color and then over it. Those are just so nice to use. You don't have to color them in. So this one had a lot of really cute designs as well. And these are like, I think, basket weaves. So that's kind of cool. 
And then we've got this one, which has got some really cute swirly flowers that I've been liking to use. And some stuff looks like, I don't know, look like snowflakes. I have a flower plate though. Okay, and then this one, some more flowers. I love those. Some other shapes. Well, this one wasn't bad. It was a collection. So for three plates, that's not, that's not bad. And then this one I got for 50% off. Obviously, if I would bought another collection, I would have gotten the collection for 50% off. But this, there wasn't that much that I really wanted this time. So I got this. And this is Love and Marriage 4. And I love the bow and the XO and the hearts. And look at over here. That's pretty cool. So I've got some ideas for this one. And then I got two of their What's Up nails. And nice. They just say remove the protective film because apparently they went with clear protective film. <laughs> so I've got more hearts. I don't know why I keep going with more hearts, guys. But um, I kind of really wanted this image and this image and Oh, that image. <laughs> this one. Okay. Now you're getting that. I'm crazy. Okay. So I got this one. And then I got this one because I've been really wanting a water marble um, plate. So I chose this one. So I hope I can hope I can create some really cool water marble looks without actually doing water marbling. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so first we're going to start with the Starly, and I'm sorry, I already opened it. It came in, um, all the polishes were in bubble wrap and then wrapped with tissue paper, which is very nice. Okay, now they had a sale. I can't remember how much the sale was. Oh, that went with my other video. I got free, free vinyls from What's Up Nails. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, so they had a sale. I can't remember how much off the nail polish was, but I was looking for a sale. And what I purchased was, this one is called Nova. And it wasn't the one that I originally wanted, but the, the one that I originally wanted was out of stock. Sold out. So I went with this one. This one looks like it'll be pretty. I think it's supposed to be pink and green. And it came with a free magnet. I'm trying to think of how much I paid for this. Maybe it's on the making list. Okay, so um, Nova was $16 and Unicorn was $15. And then I had a coupon code, so it ended up cheaper. Um, so this one was... $16 and you get the free magnet, which is really pretty much unheard of with a lot of different um, companies that sell this magnetic polishes. Now I'm hoping this one actually really works because I couldn't get the Masura. I couldn't get the magnet, the, the cat eye just to, to stay put while it was drying. So Let's hope that this one stays put because I paid a lot of money for this. <laughs> okay, so then I got Unicorn. Look how beautiful that is through the little window. Nice boxes, Starly. And this one is a beautiful, just hollow shreds um, in rainbow colors. So, like that. And then this one I got for free. Yay! I think it was like a val it must have been a Valentine's Day special um, that they were having because the coupon code was love. <laughs> anyway, so I got this one free for ordering. Was it two polishes you had to order to get a free? I don't remember. But this is Poly Juice Potion and it is a um it's a, a green. It's green. And it is beautiful. I think maybe that's why they put it in the in the see look at that. Oh, that's why they put it in the black, so you could see what it really looks like. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, we're going to swatch all of them. Okay, so this is a new polish for me. It's um, Glitter Days, and it's, days of, it's a Days of the Month color. And 
I don't know how I got on their um, mailing list. I thought it was a different company because the logo looks a little bit similar. So I wasn't paying much attention. Um, so I did purchase it. And look at the cute packaging. This is so cute. Once upon a time, there lived a girl who had a uh, deep love for nail polish. She searched all the land to find perfect shades, yet no bottle filled her unquenchable thirst. Alas, she decided to create her own beautiful, unique, and sparkling lacquers for herself and those who love them just as much as she. That, that'd be like really cool to make your own lacquer, I think. I mean, just for like myself, not to sell, because once you start selling stuff, it's like not fun anymore. It becomes a job and I don't, I don't think it's fun. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this, this is so cute. It's cruelty free and it's like a little bunny in the, let me get there. It's like a little bunny with heart shaped ears. That, that'd be a cute stamped image. Anyways, it's in Texas. So, made with love, and the reason I bought it <laughs> is because it's called Expecto Patronum, and my grandkids are, like, huge Harry Potter fans. Now, they were, it wasn't this past Christmas, so it was the Christmas before, so Donovan had to have been, like, two years old, and somehow the Harry Potter videos got lost in his move. And he was so sad. He was, all that was left was like the insert <laughs> and he was carrying it around and he just wanted Harry Potter. So I bought him like the whole collection for Christmas. And he, that was like his favorite Christmas present. He was like, you Harry Potter head. <laughs> so this past Halloween, I um, bought them all wands and glasses and they were so cute. They were running around saying Expecto Patronum. So when I saw this Expecto Patronum, I had to get it so that I could show them that grandma has Expecto Patronum on her fingernails. <laughs> so I didn't have time to actually do my nails um, when I went and visited them last. So I, uh, I did take the bottle with me and they did think that was really cool. They're like, is that what comes out of the ones? <laughs> so this is pretty beautiful and it just, it reminds me of them. They're so cute. So I'm going to insert a picture right here. Aren't, I'm going to insert a picture right here. They're just so cute. All dressed up as Harry Potter. Okay, so now um, uh, Days of the Month is a monthly polish that they create. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be on the monthly thing. You can purchase it one at a time. In fact, when I found out about it, it was just like the last few days of November. So, or January, sorry, what the heck am I thinking? Um, the last few days of January, and I had up until the 31st to order this. So I did order it on the 30th, and it came sometime in February. And it, their polishes always come with something like I don't know, like a little nail art something in there. So this month with some sparkly stars to go with. And then you get this little, I don't know, paper describing it. I wish this was like a little bit more fancy, you know. I mean, obviously you can do this on your internet, but um, you can also put like pictures on it <laughs> and make it a little cutesy. Um, but anyways... Uh, so this is the days of the month, January 2018, and I will read it. It's a new year, and that means a new collection theme for the year. Or does it? We asked, and you voted. And the winner is, drumroll please, the Witchcraft and Wizardry Collection Part 2. We love Harry Potter and are majorly stoked for this. This month is dedicated to Patronus. Fun fact number one, expecto patronum means I await a guardian in Latin. Fun fact number two, you can go to Pottermore and find out what your patronum is. Check that out and come back and let us know what you got in our Facebook group. 
I didn't even know they had hip hip rope. Actually, I didn't even know they were a company. <laughs> okay, Expecto Patronum Lacquer. Expecto Patronum is a full coverage glitter polish with multi-sized silver hollow glitter and blue shimmer and a lightly tinted ice blue base. Apply two to three coats and a glossy top coat. Extra gift. The only thing that would make this polish better are some hollow silver stars. Add them after application or pour them into your bottle with a funnel and shake them up. We love hearing from you guys. Share pictures of nail mail, what you got in your box, and or many pictures with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And let us know how you liked our products. Well, I can't imagine that if you sprinkle this in your bottle, you would actually even get any stars. <laughs> um, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably best off just putting it in a little jar and um, adding it to the polish. Speaking of little jars, I just wanted to show you this, and I'll probably do a video on it too. Um, I purchased, these are 10 gram jars. Do not purchase five gram jars. Um, but most, most like powders and stuff like that, that I buy off of eBay and stuff like that, I threw all the five gram jars away, so I don't even have them to show you. Um, I, they come in those teeny little five gram jars, and if it's five grams a product, it's filled to the entire top. So, Actually, I opened the lid of one, which the five gram jars are super small. So I opened the lid of one and I accidentally dropped it because it's like super small and my powder like fell, thank goodness, on a paper towel and I was able to get it back in there because it was a really pricey, <laughs> pricey one too. It wasn't my cheapy stuff from China. So um, I went ahead and I purchased a bunch of these um, from Amazon, and I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, these are great, and I re redid my whole glitter collection. Um, so the five gram and one gram things, I put in these grams like that, and if I bought a teaspoon, I ordered 20 gram jars. And then I also got a whole bunch of them from my friend who is de-stashing them, so I, I purchased all of her 10 gram jars because she uses 20 grams. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that. So I'll probably put these little guys in there, and then they'll be really easy. Let me just do that right now, because then they'll be really easy to use. And, you know, it, the more room that you have in your little jar, the better. <laughs> because then you're not going to make such a huge mess with your, um, oh, crud. I shouldn't have been doing that through the viewfinder, but that's okay. I'll pick them up and stick them back in there. But anyways, <laughs> looking through the viewfinder, that's okay. I had these clear jars, which I was putting, um... What was I doing? I was putting gemstones into them and they were clear and I forgot to take the lid off of one. 15,000 gems I'm pouring and all of a sudden I'm like, wow, I wasn't doing it through the eye of a, <laughs> a video camera either. Um, I'm like, wow, that got filled really fast when I noticed that the lid was still on it. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> because they were kind of bigger gemstones and doing it over a table. It's like hard to get all these. I want these little pieces out because there's not very many of them. So, but I won't let you, I won't make you watch me do that I'll to try to figure out getting them out. But then look at, you've got, yeah, you know, you've got lots of space to, you know, pick out your little stars and it's a nice size to be able to open and not spill, <laughs> not spill all over the place. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at how this puppy swatches because this is just so beautiful. This is this is gorgeous. I do have to say, this is pretty gorgeous. So I can't remember if I told you, but the days of the month is $15. And I will put the information in the description box below, obviously. While I'm at it, I just thought I'd show you how I label it. I got a inexpensive label maker from Walmart. And... Okay, I have no idea what that noise is, guys. 
and so I just print out some labels and I put them on the jars so I can kind of remember what they were like these are the expecto patronum usually I don't have <laughs> have this much trouble eating the label on the darn jar okay there we go whatever expecto patronum hollow silver stars well, that's all I know. And then I'll show you how I organize this in another video if you guys are interested. So, um, and probably if you guys aren't interested, I'm still going to do another video on it. <laughs> um, but if you are interested, you know, you can let me know in the comments below. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to try out Glitter Days. And I have a clear swatch stick so we can see... If it actually gets opaque, if it's a uh, you know, one coater, two coater, it does say, I think I remember it saying that it would get opaque in two to three coats. You might have to sponge it on, but we'll try not sponging it on. Um, if you put one coat on, it looks like it's going to be a really nice glitter topper. I'm kind of really loving that. Very pretty. And I like to use clear swatch sticks when I'm doing glitter to see, you know, if it can be used as a topper or not because then you can hold other swatch sticks with color underneath it to get kind of an idea. You know, is it really going to work for a topper? Is it not? Okay, this dries pretty quickly. Now it does have a, a blue tint, lightly blue tint, um, an ice blue tint, and a blue shimmer, and lots of hollow glitter. So maybe, maybe it would only be good for a topper, maybe over a light blue. Well, this does do pretty good with their second coat of glitter. Look at that. I'm going to say it's pretty opaque. One more coat will do it. I'm actually going to leave it at two coats. This is remarkable and simply gorgeous. I really like this polish a lot. I'll put on a top coat and then we'll come right back because it, it's going to need a lot of top coat to smooth it out unless you like the rough sandy chunky look. So here we have it and I have two coats of sash feet on the top and I think that looks perfectly lovely. That is really beautiful you can see the ice blue and the silver and holographic in there it's absolutely gorgeous next we're going to try starly nova and this is a cat eye and i'm going to use a black swatch stick for this so we're going to put the first coat on and then let it dry and then we'll put the second coat on and do the cat eye effect. And right now it's looking pretty much all purple. Okay, so now I'm ready for the second coat. and adding the cat eye. Ooh. 
that looks very pretty. I don't really see any two color shifts though. Maybe like uh, right along the edge and it looks more gold than green. Oh, there it is. The two shifts. Wow, that's really, it's really beautiful. Okay, so let's wait for that coat to dry. Well, after it dries for a while, the cat eye effect starts to kind of spread. Let's see what it'll look like with another coat on. Okay, so if anybody knows how to get these regular nail polishes to stay in this crisp line, let me know. I only really know how to do gel because you cure it so it dries super fast, but I don't know how to get this one to stay. Hmm. Okay, and now I'm going to add a quick dry top coat. And hit it with the magnet again. Here we go. I don't know any other way to keep it crisp except for keeping the magnet on it until it dries, and that doesn't really seem like a really good idea. See a little bit of gold. Let's see. I did see a flash of green. This just depends on what way you're looking at it. That's definitely not the green that I saw. I saw a real pretty green. Hmm. Okay, so here's the finished look after all layers have been cured. You know, actually, this is going to make a really awesome um, galaxy nail because you actually wouldn't have to do the multicolored, you know, sponging that you normally do. This is kind of like all in one. So this is kind of really awesome. Wish I thought about that sooner. I'll probably do a galaxy nail during this because this is actually pretty awesome. I'm kind of loving it. Um, but now looking back, you know, I was looking back at some of the other videos. Like I think, um, I can't remember who did a cat eye, a multi-chrome cat eye that I really wanted. But they were really expensive and they were not on sale. Um, but I went back over that video and I noticed at the end of the video that they were kind of looking like this too. So... I'm guessing when the person did that video, it was still wet. So that's how the, you know, you get the sharp cat eye. So I'm guessing that this is all you're going to get from a regular um, lacquer cat eye. You're going to get some kind of effect like this, which is still pretty. But um, if you know of a different way, let me know. <laughs> all right, on to the next polish. The next polish that I'm going to swatch is this gorgeous um, unicorn color. And you can see all the beautiful different colors in the black background. And this kind of reminded me of a celebration nail that Nano Nails had done. And I completely loved that nail and wanted to recreate it. Um, it just had like a bunch of different color glitters. But this is just like... Um, you know, a bunch of, I don't know what you call those glitters. But anyway, you know, they, they're different colored glitters. 
I think they're holographic. But they're completely amazing and they look great over black. So this is why I got this polish. Uh, uh, party in a bottle. <laughs> okay, so let's start out with one coat. Oh my gosh, this is exactly... Oh no, I can see it, but you can't. <laughs> Let me get really close there. Now you can see this is exactly the celebration nail she did. Oh my gosh. One coat, no sticking glitters anywhere. I am in love with this polish. Look. Oh my gosh. I can't even wait to wear this on my nails. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I hope I'm not like letting you stare at this too much because I'm like so excited. <gasps> okay. It's just exactly what I wanted. Exactly. I am so happy. I can't even tell you how happy I am. This is completely amazing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's let this dry and then I'll come back and we'll do another coat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry about that. Everything. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to do the second coat. Which I think two coats would probably be enough of this, um, depending on how dense you want it. I think for all my purposes, two coats works well. That is just simply gorgeous. So we're going to let this dry and then we'll put a, um, a top coat on. This is beautiful. This is completely what I wanted. That's gorgeous. Okay. Okay. So now I'm just going to add a couple, couple of, probably a couple of top coats here. Nice and thick. This obviously it is glitter. And I like my glitter smooth. There. It's still very, very beautiful. Next up we have Polyjuice Potion. That looks very beautiful. Oops. Yeah, this would be a good color for Halloween. And this was my free, my free bottle, which I'm very excited to get a free bottle. So let's see what it looks like on our black swatch stick. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh my gosh. This is a gorgeous green color. Okay. Do I have to get you guys up close? No, you're actually pretty, pretty good. Look at that. Is this going to be great for St. Patrick's Day or what? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, Halloween. Anytime you want blue. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And then it's got some holographic properties in there as well. Ooh. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, so uh, let's let this dry and then we'll come back for a second coat. Okay, let's get another coat of Polyjuice Potion on this. Let's see what happens. Wow. <laughs> I am really enjoying these starly polishes. Really beautiful. Okay, so let's just add a generous top coat on here. Whoops, I think I just really made a huge mess there with my top coat. Ugh. Okay. And that looks really beautiful. Nice free polish. 
happy for that that deal I'm going to actually add one more Starly polish that I bought quite a while ago, but I didn't know it was still on their website. And this one is called Galaxy. And I've never reviewed it, um, so I thought, you know, what the heck, I'm doing a bunch of other Starlies. I'm just going to throw this little one in there too. So I'm going to get a clear swatch stick and we'll see what we have going on with this glitter polish. Okay, so this is a ton of glitter in here. Okay, so this is kind of your first swipe. Let me see if I can get some more. I know if you hold these upside down for a little while, you can get more out, but let's do like a couple of coats of this and see what goes on. Okay, so I had this sitting upside down for a little while, so let's see if we get, oh yeah, I see some more big stuff. Whoa. <laughs> okay, it looks like we got a good scattering of everything. I probably wouldn't want to use this as an opaque, but as a glitter topper, so I guess that's the trick is to keep it upside down for a little bit. Um, oops. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, my lighting went crazy. Okay. Um, so it's kind of hard to set them upside down when they've got the little domed top, but I happen to have this little jar here. So I just stuck it in there and kind of propped it up against something. And um, it really wasn't even, I don't even think it was upside down for a minute when I got all of these nice glitters out. So this is a, a fun topper. I think I got it for like a galaxy look kind of thing so I might I might try to do a video coming up soon with these two that might be fun and maybe a stamping plate so I'll have to see what my creative mind comes up with and obviously you're going to need some good top coat if you want this to be smooth because that is rather chunky I was just noticing this little box I never watched, noticed here. You can swatch it on black or white, and then it says, please open with a smile. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I don't know if, I mean, these this are the boxes that my other ones came in, so I don't know if they're all coming in new boxes, but this one was purchased, I would say, about a year or so ago. Um, I'm guessing close to two years, I'm thinking, but... um. I thought that was cute, and I thought I would share. Please open with a smile. Like, you couldn't not smile when you're opening your nail polish. <laughs> okay. So, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. If you love my channel, please comment below and share with everyone you know. <laughs> I really didn't mean that to rhyme. Oh my gosh. All right. And in this video now, thanks for watching. Bye for now.